What I have here are a series of um, basically reprint baseball card books, all by the same author. Um, and so I have American League Baseball Card Classics, National League Baseball Card Classics, Hall of Fame Baseball Cards, Classic Baseball Cards, and then this last one is just postcards. But kind of a neat item to have. I mean, what's inside here are perforated, you know, reprint cards from all the, you know, the early pre-war stuff. Cracker Jack, you know, T206, Caramel, um, Gowdy. This is a car that's been on my want list for a while. I'm not in any rush to get it because it doesn't fluctuate in value all that much, but uh, 1960, 19, 1934, uh, Gowdy Lou Gehrig, card number 61, looking for it in like a PSA 2 to PSA 3. Um, one of these days. Here's some diamond stars over here, some play ball. And so these are just really neat to have to flip through to, obviously I can never afford to own all these. Most people can't. So um, it's the next best thing. And the last page is uh, Topps cards. So that's uh, the American League. Here's National League baseball card classics real quick. Just more of the same. There's another book, I don't know where it is, I have it somewhere, I might have lost it over the years, but there's one that's dedicated to the 53 Bowman Color, um, and it's like, um, I think like 24 or 36, you know, cards like this, perforated, but of the Bowman Color set, and it's just a really slick looking package. Um, 52 Bowman's here, right? 52, 51. And then tops here in the back. Hall of Fame baseball cards. So this is just both American and National League, I presume. I don't know why you never wanted to attach these. I think they're much more enjoyable to leave them intact. Cracker Jack. If Deep House is a nation, we want to be present. Babe Ruth, I have the real deal on that one. Series X in low grade. And that'll do it. In the back page is Topps cards again. Next up is this classic baseball cards. 98 collectors cards, authentically reproduced in full color. Perforated for easy detaching. These are some of the Alan Ginters here. That's a big money card right there, the Cap Anson. Series of tobacco cards, all the rare ones, right? Honus Wagner, Eddie Plank. So the Gary card here. Tony Lazeri. I'm not sure, I forget the name of what this set is. Um, I want to say it's DeLong, but I don't think that's correct. I don't think I'm cool. Actually, sure, it's probably right in the back, right? Uh, no, it's not in the back, so I don't know. Oh, I forgot what that set was called. This is a 1940 or 41 play ball, I believe, here. And this is Gaudi Heads Up with the, I guess, the Maggio rookie card. This last one's not baseball cards, it's just uh, postcards, but they're still neat to look at. Some classic old time photography here. I suppose I can rip these out and I can send them. Hey, by the way, what the fuck happened to YouTube? I used to like it where um, where I could see what other people were commenting on and other videos people liked. It would have kind of clue me into some other stuff that maybe I wouldn't have found on my own. And now, it's like when I go to my YouTube channel, it just shows recommended or whatever, and I no longer can see what like some of my YouTube, or some of the, the few subscriptions that I do have, like what, what's going on with them and you know what they're commenting on and such. So maybe it's a setting that I don't know how to adjust in my account. But the YouTube changed at some point. Um, here's a nice, uh, it's a Babe Ruth, really young Babe Ruth right there. And so there you have it. Great baseball players of the past. One more page here. All the same author, guy by the name of uh, Burt Randolph Sugar. 
And again, just pretty, uh, you know, pretty neat collectible to have to be able to flip through and look at all the old-time cards. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.